mentioned uh, a conspiracy between the black Muslims and the right wing of this country. Could you elaborate on that? I mentioned the conspiracy between the Muslims and the right wing in this country. I know for a fact that there is a conspiracy between, among, between the Muslims and the uh, uh, Lincoln Rockwell Nazi and also the Ku Klux Klan. There is a conspiracy. Describe this conspiracy. Well, the Ku Klux Klan made a deal or were trying to make a deal with Elijah Muhammad in 1960 in the home of Jeremiah X, the minister in Atlanta at that time, who was president of the minister in uh, Philadelphia. They were trying to make a deal with him to make available to Elijah Muhammad a county, a size tract of land in Georgia or South Carolina, where Elijah Muhammad could then uh, induce Negroes to migrate and make it appear that his program of a segregated state or separated state was feasible. And uh, to what extent these negotiations finally developed, I do not know, because I was not involved in them beyond the period of uh, December 19, uh, 1960. But I do know that after that, Jeremiah, who was the minister throughout the South, could roam the entire South and the Klan not bother him in any way, shape, or form, nor would they bother any of the black Muslims from then on, nor would the black Muslims bother the Klan. Führer empfing den Großmufti von Jerusalem, einen der einflussreichsten Männer des arabischen Nationalismus. Der Großmufti ist das religiöse Oberhaupt der Araber in Palästina und gleichzeitig deren oberster Richter und Finanzverwalter. Wegen seiner nationalen Haltung verfolgten ihn die Engländer erbittert und setzten auf seinen Kopf einen Preis von 25.000 Pfund aus. Auf abenteuerlichen Wegen gelangt er über Italien nach Deutschland. The deal was pretty clear. While the Nazis stopped short of actually recognizing an independent Palestine, Hitler was planning to deal with the Jews who'd settled in the country. And so began the Mufti's four-year-long relationship with the Nazis. Throughout his time in Germany during the Second World War, Al Husseini appeared to enjoy a close working relationship with some of the highest ranking Nazis. In the Grand Mufti's memoirs published in 1999, he freely discusses his close relationship with SS Chief Heinrich Himmler, 